newly discovered planet. A science fiction author asks for your help. He wants to write about a newly discovered spherically symmetric planet that has the same average density as the Earth, but with a 25% larger radius. Part A. What is G on this planet? Part B. If he decides to have his explorers weigh the same on this planet as on Earth, how should he change its average density? Okay, the gravitational force F sub G between an object with mass capital M and Earth is mass of the Earth, mass of the object, divided by radius of the Earth square, if the object is not too far away. Well, strictly speaking, this is at the surface. And this is equal to mass times acceleration. So uh, I can see that the gravitational acceleration, which I call G, is the gravitational constant, universal gravitational constant, mass of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth squared on the surface of the Earth. Normally, this changes with height, uh, but if you consider the surface of the Earth, or if you're not too far away from the surface of the Earth, to a, with a good approximation, you can change, you can take G to be uh, capital G ME divided by RE squared. Okay, so radius of this planet, RP, is 25% larger than the radius of the Earth. So 25% larger radius. So this is 1.25 times the radius of the Earth. However, the density, average density of the planet, is the same as the average density of the Earth. So what is the mass of the planet? Mass of the planet is its density multiplied by its volume, volume of the planet. So it's its density multiplied by the volume of a sphere because it's a spherically symmetric planet. It is spherically symmetric. Uh, four thirds, the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi radius of the planet cube. Uh, what is the mass of the Earth? It is the density of the Earth times the volume of the Earth, which is the density of the Earth, uh, taking Earth to be spherically symmetric, 4 thirds pi radius of the Earth cube. Okay, now the value of the gravitational acceleration on the surface of the planet will be a universal gravitation constant g times mass of the planet divided by radius of the planet square. And as for the mass of the planet, I will substitute the density of the planet, 4 thirds pi radius of the planet cube, And this will be divided by radius of the planet square. So I will be left with radius of the planet on top. Uh, so, and for the radius of the planet, I will substitute 1.25 radius of the Earth. So the answer is 4 thirds uh, G. The, since the density is the same for density of the planet, I substitute density of the Earth. Uh, pi, for radius of the planet, I substitute 1.25 radius of the Earth. The value of G at the surface of the Earth is universal gravitation constant, mass of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth square, which is uh, 4 thirds g density of the earth pi radius of the earth. 
So similar to this calculation here, I have the same thing. For mass of the earth, I substitute its volume, 4 thirds pi r cube, uh, multiplied by the density, divided by r square, r cube becomes r. So I am left with 4 thirds pi r g times the density. So comparing these two values, I see that the gravitational acceleration is a factor of 1.25 larger than that of the gravitational acceleration on the surface of the Earth. So it is 1.25 times the value of G on Earth. All right. And if I substitute the value of G on at the surface of the Earth, the gravitational acceleration on this planet will be 1.25 times 9.8. Zero, so I find the numerical value for the gravitational acceleration to be 12.5 meters per second square. And in part B, I want to change the density of the planet so that the two explorers uh, on Earth and on the uh, planet will an explorer will weigh the same on Earth and as on this planet. So he wants to have his explorers weigh the same on these two planets. All right, so we want to have for a mass capital M, its weight capital M times G be the same on the two planets. So that means we're looking to have the same gravitational acceleration. GP should be equal to GE. So what is GP? Uh, GP is here. Uh, four thirds. It is four thirds. Uh, G. The density of the planet. Rho P. Pi. 1.25. R e. So here the density of the planet is rho p. For r p I substitute 1.25 r e. And this should be equal to the gravitational acceleration on Earth. So it is 4 thirds g density of the Earth pi r e. So I'm not playing with the radius. I'm playing with the uh, value of the density here. So 4 thirds g, 4 thirds g will cancel. Um, and then I will have pi r e, pi r e cancelling. I see that the density of the planet should be density of the earth divided by 1.25. All right which is 0 0.800 density of the Earth. So our conclusion is that in order to have the same weight measured on the two planets, the density of the new planet should be reduced by 20%. So that's my conclusion. The density of the newly discovered planet should be reduced by 20%. Okay, so we are talking about a science fiction and a science fiction author talks about a newly discovered planet which has the same density as Earth, but the radius is 25% larger. What is the value of gravitational acceleration on this planet? The gravitational acceleration on the surface of the Earth is G, mass of the Earth, divided by radius squared. Uh, so for the mass of the planet, I have density times volume. If it's a spherically symmetric planet, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed times the density. If the average densities of the planet and the Earth are the same, 
Uh, for rho, I can substitute rho e. For radius, I can substitute 1.25 re. And as for the mass of the earth, I have density of the earth times volume of the earth. So gm over r squared, the value of gravitational acceleration on the new planet, is uh, for when I substitute for the mass, 4 thirds pi r cubed times rho, uh, r squared and r cubed cancel, so I'm left with a single r on top, which is 1.25 re. The radius is the same as the radius on Earth. So this is what I obtained for g. And for the g value at the surface of the Earth, I have a uh, similar result, 4 thirds g rho pi re. I see that this is 25% larger. So uh, the value of the gravitational acceleration on this new planet is 12.5 meters per second square. If we want to have the same weight measurement on the two planets, so mass times the gravitational acceleration, the weight on the planet P and on planet Earth is the same, this implies that the g values will be the same. Now I'm looking for same g values but not equal density values. So 4 thirds g rho uh, pi times 1.25 re is 4 thirds g rho uh, on earth pi re. I see that the density is now uh, the density of the earth divided by 1.25, which implies that we need 20% reduction on the density so that the two uh, measurements will give the same result. An explorer on earth will weigh the same as uh, the uh, as the newly discovered planet.